Welcome to the Flying Circus of Physics. I'm Gerald Walker. I'm one of the physics professors here at Cleveland State University. And today, I want to show you something you can see at breakfast time called liquid rope coiling. But first, I'm going to use water, not a, a different type of fluid. I've got a plastic container where we've drilled a hole in the bottom, but if you want to do this at breakfast, take a paper cup and just put, with your pencil, a hole into the bottom of the paper cup. I got my plastic cup here. I'm first going to use water. Nothing interesting is going to happen, I'm afraid. The water goes in, it pours out, and it joins that pool down there at the bottom readily. There's no fighting against it. We talk about the viscosity of the water, the resistance to flow. And for water that's really low, water flows easily. Which, good thing, don't you know? Let me show you something else. We're going to switch from water to corn syrup, dark corn syrup. Yummy, yummy. Mm. And let's see what happens now when I pour the corn syrup through the opening in the bottom of the plastic container. Can you see that? There is so much viscosity in this corn syrup, so much resistance to flow, that the stream that's falling down cannot easily join the pool down there. So the stream buckles and wraps around like a rope coil, liquid rope coiling. And if I raise this, I change the coiling from slow and sluggish to feverish. And there's an actual cone being built there by the swirling around, the rope coiling around of the falling stream. It's falling down faster now at the bottom. It's picked up speed because it fell farther. And that means it's going to go faster around and around. Now, because I'm a physicist, I like to have something different at breakfast time when I have my pancake. I like to have a little bit of syrup on it. And of course, I'm going to be looking for the rope coiling. Line that up a little bit better. Oh, there it goes. Sluggish, but it's rope coiling. A little bit of syrup, and of course, a little bit of honey. Kind of sweeten it up. A little bit of honey. Rope, rope, rope coiling. You can see it down there. Sluggish again, but it's very viscous. Normal people might do it this way, but here's what I do. After I put the honey and the syrup on there, I put a little bit of heavy motor oil. Keep me lubricated all day long. Rope coiling very fast down there. Got a little bit of cone built up by the rope coiling. This will keep me going all day long. Don't tell anybody, this is my secret breakfast.